no legal obligations. Now a sixth laughter and jeers, a not so warm welcome for the city aviation commissioner at a hearing about a serious health issue first raised by the two investigators. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. Today's concern involved potentially dangerous and smelly windows installed in homes near both Chicago airports. Our Pam Zuckman broke the story originally. She joins us live near Midway Airport for today's follow up, Pam. Rob and Erica, we've been waiting to hear from the City Aviation Commissioner for weeks, and we finally did. Aviation Commissioner Ginger Evans showed up today for the second session of a joint City Council Finance and Aviation Committee hearing. The alderman demanded to know about the conflict that supposedly prevented their previous request for her appearance. Alderman Ed Burke asked about her Facebook posts reporting on her luxurious vacation digs. While these folks were here expressing their <coughs> concern about these toxic fumes, uh, you chose to be in the shadow of the Grand Teton Mountains. It's very important to my family and it was a long scheduled trip. As we previously disclosed, homeowners began complaining years ago about the smell from the sound insulation windows made of polyvinyl chloride that the city installed to reduce the noise of aircraft flying over their homes around Midway and O'Hare airports. These folks think it's very important that they get to the bottom of the noxious fumes that are in their homes. We agree, and we have uh, nothing has slowed down because of my family vacation. Alderman wanted to know what's taken them so long to find out what's causing the smell and whether they'll replace all the windows with an odor, not just those that still have a 10 year warranty under the now closed company that installed them. A private consulting firm hired by the city for $50,000 is now testing some of the windows in a lab and will begin air quality testing in some homes this month. Reporting live from near Midway Airport, Pam Zekman, CBS2 Investigators. Rob? Okay, Pam, hopefully they can get this figured out in a timely fashion. Thank you.